name? Friend and neighbor? Or shall I say this afternoon? Welcome back to the Steelers franchise on Madden 22. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, we are going into season number five here in the series. Uh, so it's the 2025 campaign about to get underway. Before we jump in there, I do want to at least just look at the scouting class that's uh, on deck for us this year just to kind of see what's out there. We'll go position by position. There are some good quarterbacks in the mix here with a few first rounders there. A couple of good running backs that are projected here with five that are slated to go between, you know, the first and maybe mid second rounds uh, as far as projections go. There's a stud wide out coming out of uh, South Carolina and then a few fringe first rounders, actually a bunch of fringe, fringe first rounders. So there could be some options there to try and get your hands on. Not a very deep tight end class. Uh, there's not a very deep tackle class, left tackle at least. There's a really good left guard in the mix. Uh, looks like there's going to be a few centers that could be uh, pretty good there. If they're projected to go in the second round as a center, that's pretty good. A um, couple of decent guards in the mix couple of decent right tackles, a stud left end that's out there, and then a couple other pretty good left ends, uh, a couple of decent right ends. It's a little bit thin, maybe a defensive tackle, but one pretty sure first rounder and then a few first or second rounders. Just one decent left outside linebacker. There's a couple good middle linebackers. A couple good right outside linebackers. Two very good corners. Another first rounder. And then four, you know, potential first or second rounders. So that's a pretty deep cl uh, class at corner. Not a lot going on at free safety. And not a lot going on at strong safety. So I would say of all of the positions, it's the cornerback spot that looks really good. Uh, wide receivers, there were also a couple of pretty good options there. But, um, you know, realistically, this is a year where, like, we're happy with our team. And we've got some pretty decent depth. I think when we get to the draft... It's probably a situation where I'm okay maybe trying to trade up to get a stud um, in exchange for not having, you know, some of those picks in the middle rounds where we would normally be adding guys that are depth players. I want to try and go get some impact players. But let's go out to Heinz Field. We're taking on the Browns, and... They're not the same Browns that they used to be, but they still have some really good playmakers. Miles Garrett is going to be an issue. Uh, Nick Chubb is an issue. Owasu Kormora uh, Moa is a very good player, and at this point he's probably really dangerous. And I don't know how good their offensive line still is, but, um, you know, in current you know, real life, the Browns offensive line has a bunch of guys that are supposed to be really good. So it's going to be a, a challenge to stop Nick Chubb, and that's going to be the key to the game. So we'll see how that goes. We've got a really good defense. I think the key for us is going to be I need Devin Bush to play a good game and play a disciplined game. Going to need some help on the edges on some of those runs. You know, the job for Devin Bush is don't let them run it up the middle and pick up big yardage. So we'll see how everything shakes loose. So the wind says it's blowing to the left, but I don't think that's the case. It's either blowing right into my face or right at my back, and it's at my back. So off the crossbar, then it looked like off the upright. Here comes Baker Mayfield. I'm not so worried about Baker Mayfield. It's Nick Chubb that we're going to try and stop. So let's actually come down and press here. 
That's a good start. When we come with a blitz like that, what we're hoping is that Baker gets a little bit trigger happy, throws it right away, and we manage to have you know decent enough coverage to get an incompletion or an interception. All right, they're going back-to-back -back passes here. Almost got there to pick that one off. Now, third down and five. I imagine that this is going to be a pass. So we're going to come out in the nickel. And let's call a man coverage. Yeah, and we're actually going to stick with it here. It's a draw play. Dang it! That was just good blocking. I mean, we were in position to stop that. Just couldn't make the tackle. All right, so now we're back to first and 10. They're coming out, two backs and a tight end, and we're gonna go with the same strategy we did on first down last time, which is blitz. Get to the edge, get to the edge. There it is! That's what we need. When they try and go outside, I need to string it out. I can't let him cut it up the field. Make him go all the way outside and then just hope that I get help out there to where I'm not the one making the initial hit. I'm the one cleaning up. Just like that, there McDonald and Fitzpatrick gets to him and they lose a yard. Now it's third down and 10. They've got to throw it and we're going prevent, cover three. Uh, actually, let's go with man coverage here because of how they're aligned. Just watch for a screen. Throw it out here to Chuck. Come on, do it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, he ran up the field at the last second and... Gah! I even had a little bit of a cushion there. I looked into the backfield for a split second and that is right when... Chubb took off upfield. Dang it. All right, let's pinch inside here in case they try to draw. Did not get him. Didn't expect to have issues with Chubb in the passing game. So far, he's been their best option there. All right, we're going to go with a zone blitz. Get in here, McDonald. Let's slant to the right. Uh, see there? Okay, good job. Just don't let him get 10 yards when they run it right up the middle. Uh, we're going to go cover two, show four. Slant to the right. Get him. All right, he fell down. I don't know why they have that animation in there. It's one thing if he's like under, you know, an imminent threat of getting hit really hard, but that is usually not the case when the, they run that route. So what's the deal with that? All right, we're gonna press here. Come on, don't run it. Yes! Uh, I think we can, well. That's a huge pick. That is big. So Colbert, isn't that, isn't that a rookie? Where did we get him? Who the heck is that? He's in there as the, like the nickel uh, linebacker or whatever, but he's number 22. And I don't remember. I mean, it's early in the morning for me. Who is that guy? <laughs> Colbert, Colbert, Colbert is who we're looking for. Number 22. Let's go to uh, sub linebacker. Oh, Ross Colbert. So he's a second year middle linebacker. He's listed at second string defensive tackle? What in the world? Surely not. Why does it say... See how it says... Um, 
defensive tackle, or maybe that's depth. I don't know. It says starter, second string, third string, but it says DT. I don't know if that just means depth. But anyway, that's a big play for the second-year middle linebacker. Maybe he we did draft him. I don't remember that, but I don't remember a whole lot. So, <laughs> not shocked. All right, so Ebron is now farther down on the depth chart where we're rocking Fryermuth as our go-to uh, tight end this year. He doesn't have quite the speed, but he's a better blocker and is still a pretty good option in the passing game. He's just more of a possession guy. I don't know how many times we're going to be able to hit him on big strikes down the field. All right, now we have a third down right off the bat. We've got to get this first down. All right, didn't I just pick up this guy? He's supposed to be a pretty good receiver. I want him in the game on these situations. Third down. If I think I'm going to be throwing it to the running back, I want him to be the guy. And we're going to test him right here. First play of his career. And he got it. Barely, but he got it. Had to kind of spin around to make the catch. It's a good play. All right. Let's go... Uh, I don't like where that linebacker is on the right side. So we're just going to run it up the middle, try and get a few yards here. Remember, we made it uh, a little bit more difficult. Oh, Fryer move hurt already. Oh, man. Uh, we changed the settings uh, for the blocking sliders. So when Fryer move goes out, now it's Moreau next on the depth chart. So we're phasing out Eric Ebron as he gets older. Uh-oh. That was no good. I didn't have what I was looking for there. Tried to roll out and made the mistake of trying to roll out toward Miles Garrett. And now we need a big play on third down here. Now, that middle linebacker, if he takes a step to the left right off the snap, I'm going to have Johnson. There it is. Perfect throw, beautiful catch, and a first down. Man, he had him pretty well covered because he had to, like, spin around and get back to him. So Moreau is going to have to take over for the rest of the game because prior move, dislocated shoulder, out for the rest of the game. All right, let's look for Johnson here. Good throw. Crawford's pretty sharp off the out of the gates here. Let's go strong formation, play action. Of course, they put Garrett on that side. It drives me crazy that they switch him back and forth, so I never know what side he's going to be on before I pick the play. There's a first down. Now we're going to go I formation, play action, scissors. Now he's on the left-hand side. So we're looking for either Moreau on that corner route or Claypool on the deep post. I don't think either are going to be there, but that's wide open. There we go. Another first down. Let's go back to the ground here. Uh, I don't like this. If I run it the way I have it called, I'm running right into the teeth of their defense. I can't go the other way because they've got the extra man in the box. We just need to try and swing this out in the flat, get some yards. Good run after the catch. Crawford, six for six, 47 yards. All right, let's try and take a shot deep here. I'm going to call flanker dig. Um, but I think we're actually going to have something down the middle here with Juju. Uh, no, I'm not, though. I can get out of there. Go, go, go. Go. <laughs> 14 yards. First down inside the red zone. This game's off to a very good start. Get an interception right as they're about to score, and then we come down. Now we need to just put it in the end zone. 
put an exclamation point on this drive. Good run right there. Now let's go weak spacing. All right, so I need some pass protection here. It's not really there. Get down. Okay. Did he get the first down? Yes. First and goal. Let's go. Let's run it up the middle and try and get about halfway. Oh, no. Let's stay more inside and go with the dive because of how they're kind of showing blitz right there. All right, we got to the four. Last play of the quarter there, so it's going to be scoreless after the first, which is totally fine. I don't want to get into a shootout with these guys. Um, now we're going mesh, and this is kind of what I want to see. They're showing blitz. We're going to adjust to go and max protect. And basically, we're looking for Claypool. He's going to have man-to-man -man coverage coming across here, I think. Uh-oh. It went to a zone. And that's not what I needed there. Dang it. Third and goal. Uh, let's go with this motion screen. And... Just not a lot of space. I don't like the look of what they just did, but, oh gosh, I don't know if I can run this up or, or not. Yes, how about the rookie? First drive of his career gets him a touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. That was very good blocking there. Good drive. That third and long conversion where we hit uh, Juju on the slant. That was the key to that drive. How about 16 plays, 86 yards? Took up a ton of time. And we get the touchdown. All right, let's go tackle him short of the 25. How about a fumble here? Nope. It's all right. All right. Second drive coming up here for So if they're going to show a run formation, we will be blitzing. No. Oh, oh, nice help there. Thought he was going to have a big completion. Now I think they're going to throw it. I'm going to press here. And I'm actually going to be McDonald because he's responsible for Nick Chubb. Yeah, now I can kind of help here. Go Blitz. That's okay. All right, third down and four. I'm going to go with the double A gap look here. And watch for the run. All right, come on. Yes! There we go. Three and out. Now, when we've got the lead, the key here is we've got to get points. Now, I wouldn't mind taking a shot downfield to see if we can't maybe, like, get a big play and score quickly. But we've got to be smart about it. So we're going to go... Play action, power O. I don't think it's going to be there uh, as far as the deep ball, but we'll stay with the play. We'll try and roll out to the right. We're looking for either right in the flat or maybe Johnson late over the middle if I've got time for it. It's going to be there. Come on, make the catch. Yes, sir! That was close. All right. See, the key to that play is you need enough time for the tight end and Claypool to kind of clear that area out to where all the coverage is deeper. And then he just comes in a little bit underneath. Dang it, that's not what we need. A core four is hurt. Now we're down to our backup left tackle with freaking Miles Garrett. 
staring us down. He's going to the locker room, so he's probably done for the day. That is bad news. I mean, that's very, very bad news. <laughs> Third and two. This is where I want that rookie in there. We're going to call the inside zone, and they're giving it to us. This is key here. Get the first down, hold on to the football, and we're in field goal range. We're kicking into the wind going this direction. Broken thumb out for the game. So Babineau will step in. Now Babineau's not terrible, but he's not our best option here. All right, so we're going to actually stick with this play. We'll go with the slant for Ray Ray is kind of what we're eyeballing here. It's not going to be there. Run. Good block from uh, Clay, or uh, what's his name? Ray Ray right there. Second to two. And I want I formation. I'm going to call Texas. Ooh, I think they're blitzing. Are we going to have Moreau up the middle on that post? Well, it was one-on-one, -on -one, but very good coverage. And they had some pressure big time. I'm okay with that throw. I'm just glad it wasn't picked off. Uh-oh. Good job getting the first down there because they got off the block pretty quick there. All right, let's go x ball. So Ebron is in the game here, and I think he might actually be open coming underneath here. Let's watch for Moreau up the seam, too. No. Uh-oh. They were getting to me off the corner or off the edge there on the right side. Good job by uh, Babineau holding the block on what's-his-face, allowing me to get outside. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's just run in here. Oh, my fullback had a chance to block him and didn't. Now it's third and inches. Just get the first down. In fact, let's go here. Show him a look that we've run out of a couple of times, and now we're actually going to try and throw it outside to him here. I need a block. Well, I wanted a touchdown, but that's okay. All right. So first and goal, another sustained drive here. And let's call a dive play. Yeah, I don't really. I was thinking maybe we would audible to the mesh route but I think they're in zone, and I want man coverage if I call that. Now we're down to the one, and I think I can punch this in, but I really want to throw for a touchdown, so I'm going to call mesh. Same concept we tried last time. I just need man coverage. If I get it, Claypool should be open. A good throw is a touchdown, and there it is, and he makes it back. Ay, ay, ay. Now third and goal. We're coming out in the goal line set. And we're going to just run it up the middle. Whichever side Garrett is on, we run the other way. And just try and punch it in. There it is. Now we're up two scores, and I love it. We haven't been, like... You know, moving it in huge chunks, really, but a bunch of third down conversions. We keep getting to third and short situations. So we had a 16 play drive and a 13 play drive. That is freaking phenomenal ball control. Now, I think we picked Air It Out in the uh, game strategy or whatever to where like we're supposed to pass for 350 yards in the process of getting this win. That does not look like it's going to happen.
so pretty much throw that out the window. We'll try and throw it a little bit. Now that we've got a two-score lead, I might get a little bit more aggressive offensively. Yeah, stop the cutback. Good job. So we have him bottled up right now. And if he's not running for 150 yards, these guys aren't going to win. Second and 10, I think they're going to try and pass it here. I'm going to go with a zone blitz. Uh, I don't like... Okay. Dang it! That's pretty well covered, honestly. I had to guess whether he was going to go inside to Chubb or outside to Hooper. I guessed right, he still couldn't get there in time. All right, we're going to blitz here. Let's go from the 4-3 over. Sam will blitz. Uh... So we've got some new players on defense here, and they are getting it done. Beal at strong safety doing a good job. Colbert uh, with that interception obviously was big. Now second and 11, they're probably going to go back to the air because the ground game has not been working. So let's go with a cover three, show two. Don't run it. Okay. He didn't. Wow, timing was off. Throw behind him as a result. Now it's third and long. I'm going to go man three deep. And we're going to press. They keep coming in those formations where they've got three DBs off to the one side. And if they're going to do that, we have to be in man coverage. Because that's a lot of times where they drag somebody way across the field. And by that time, somebody has vacated their zone, chasing after someone, and that creates problems. Especially if you don't get any pressure, and with a three-man rush, you're not likely to get pressure. All right, good return. Starting from the 31, three minutes to go. My objective here is score. I'm not too concerned about the, you know, don't let them get the ball back kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, let's stick with this here. Give me a block out here, right? That's okay. Kind of wanted him to realize that I wanted him to go upfield and just block for me, but they don't do that until you cross the line of scrimmage. Uh, let's send... Claypool on a go route. Juju across the middle is probably our likely target here, but when they drop everyone back in coverage, if I can get out of the pocket, we're gonna do it. That's a first down, out to the 44. He's got 43 yards on the ground already. We're not gonna get another playoff here. All right, I'm gonna try a scissors route here and see if we can't get either that corner or the deep post. I usually find that it works best out of the eye formation for whatever reason. See, I don't like the way they're aligned here. We might have one-on-one -on -one outside, but what that safety does is gonna dictate. Yeah, just hit the fullback. That's a smart pass. They kind of dropped everyone back into a cover three. He was open, just hit him and live to fight another day. All right, I don't like this at all. So we're gonna audible and looking for, well, let's just hit Benny Snell in the flat. Get the first down. All right, so now we're inside a minute and a half. 11 of 13, but just 87 yards. We gotta find a way to get it downfield. And this is not the play to do it. Just call a timeout. It's okay. I need them to be lined up man to man there, and they weren't. So let's go here and call Vert's drag. Now, Richardson is going to stay in and block. I need that safety on the back, on the right hand side, to come in right off the snap. He did, but not. Uh oh. Oh man, that was dangerous to throw that that late. I wanted that safety to keep coming, and he stopped, and then I was just all kinds of mess messed up. 
All right, let's go single back, halfback Cairo. I want to just try and get some yards on the ground here. I'm going to go left instead of right. Nice block there. Whoever was pulling freed that up. All right, now I've got a, I've got an idea. We're going to call the Texas route. And I don't like the way the linebacker, I don't like the way they're back. So I think what we're going to have is Claypool on the post right here. Uh, no, we're not either. That's wide open. Give me a block. Oh, dang it. I was trying to set up the block from Moreau, but in the process, I got caught from behind. That was really good pass protection. Gave me time to find somebody open there. All right, we're going to go 494 flat here. Now, Moreau is going to come across the formation here. I kind of want him to be open. Uh, no! What kind of throw was that? Oh, he was open. He was open, and he just made a terrible throw. I'm going to show you, just so you know that I'm not wrong. Okay, just watch Juju here. Right there. Throw it to his inside, which is what I was trying to get him to do, and it's a touchdown. And instead, he throws it to his outside, which is where the coverage is. Picked off. Dang it! There's typical Grant Crawford. And now they finally start running the ball well. That's not what we want to see. That's going to be the last play of the half. But it could have been 21 nothing with like 10 seconds to go in the half. Dang it! You get the ball to start the second half, too. So, I mean, that would have been pretty much game over. I mean, we're still in good shape, but I really wanted that touchdown. Hang on, my phone apparently did not charge last night. Sorry. All right. Let's uh, let's try and start off through the air. I don't like this. Dang it! Uh, now we need to just get some yards. So all the angle route. Dang it! They keep lining up in, in formations that are just not set up the way I want for the play that I'm calling. So I keep having to audible and just take what they're giving me and work my way down the field with little dinks and dunks. And like here, those two linebackers over the middle tells me that we're probably not going to have Juju on the slant. But we're going to run this anyway. Try and squeeze it in. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to throw that pass. Holy crap, did he just crush him. That's like broken ribs and a concussion waiting to happen. Are we into the wind again here? Or are we kicking with it? Uh, we're kicking with the wind here. That's a good punt. But then we can't make the initial tackle. It's all right. 51-yard punt. They're starting from the 28. See, now this drive right here is huge. If they score, they're right back in the game. That turnover at the end of the half was just huge. Don't let them cut it back. But you got to make that tackle. We got a holding penalty. Or a block in the back. Block in the back. Either way, it's pretty much a do-over here. Yeah. They only lose a yard. Uh, now let's try to blitz coming off the edge. So Beal is coming up 
to the line of scrimmage. If they run to the right, yeah, I was going to say, he should be there to help us, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, let's go cover three. Slant to the left. Again, if they run it, I have to stay disciplined and not let them get that cutback route. Uh-oh. All right. They had a couple of options there down the field. The tight end was going on a post pattern and looked like he was going to be open. He would have waited another second. Third down. I'm going to blitz out of the nickel, but we're going to do a zone blitz. Let's press. Try and get a quick completion. Uh, nice tackle, but they convert. All right. Now they go back to the nickel, or back to the three wide set. Come on in here, Meeks. Slide the D line to the right. Watch the cut back. There it is. Good job. Chubb is really good at changing directions. So you see them like trying to run it outside, and then all of a sudden he's going back the other way, and you're caught out of position. We're going to try a zone blitz here. I'm going to be McDonald so that I'm back in pass coverage if they throw it. Yeah. Nice tackle, Monroe. So that one is one of those where you're hoping to confuse them by throwing a D lineman back into coverage. It's hard to see. You just see blitz. You're not watching what's going on. See there. Nice play. Let's go. How about Nick Chubb? 10 carries, just 30 yards. Now he's going to break one. It's going to happen. We're going to blitz right here. I want to put an end to this drive. Press coverage. We're blitzing. Get him. Get a hand up. No! Tackle him! Dang it! If Bush would have jumped there when I told him to, he might have batted that pass down. I just couldn't get him to jump. He was engaged. Uh, all right, slant to the left. Ball start. Let's at least hold him to a field goal here. A turnover now would be fantastic. All right, now we're actually going to slant to the middle. Let's pinch here. And I had the right idea, but they still get six yards. Conklin shaking up. So they're back about to the original line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to call the blitz, but then we're going to audible into a Tampa two. And we're going to dare them to run it. And they do. Nice job, Devin Bush. He got off the block, makes the tackle. So now it's third and six. And I am going to go... I'm going to try and catch them off guard here and go with a uh, three-man rush. But they're back in the stinking three-wide set here. Ah! They had those guys trips to the right, so I switched to man coverage. It almost worked. That's a good throw and catch. In coverage, almost broke it up. We got a blitz here. Let's come off the edge. Uh, we're coming off the wrong edge. We got a slant to the right here. Uh oh. Nice job, Bush. Man, they had that set up. All right, we're going 4-4 uh, four, four here, and we're blitzing. All right, I'm responsible for Chubb right here. The youngster, Colbert. Uh, I had to pick a lane. We're blitzing up the middle, so I picked the outside lane, and nobody got him on the inside. Dang it! Just like that, they are right back in this freaking game. you got to be kidding me. We have dominated. One play changed the tone of this game. 
and it should have been a touchdown for us. And eight minutes later, they're getting a touchdown, and we still haven't scored. On the football. We got to find a way to get the ball downfield through the air. We're going to go I form scissors. Now, last time we did this, I was able to roll out and find Johnson late across the middle. They're not blitzing. And there's Johnson again. That's been there twice now. So what that's going to do is set up where they can't go in that stupid three wide or else I'm going to just be able to run that over and over or three uh, three safeties or cover three. I can't talk. I don't know anything about football. But anyway, if they try and keep doing that where they're in cover three, I can run that over and over. If they go cover two, that's where I'll have a choice between the post and the corner route. And here, this is the set that I'm looking for. Watch what the safeties do. If one of them rolls back and one of them rolls in. No! You gotta be kidding me! Everything's set up exactly the way I want it. That might have been an incompletion, though. Like, I want to see... Does he maintain possession? He's down! He's down! Okay, they're going to review, and that's going to be our ball. Yes! We got them now, because now we've got a combination of plays that they have not shown the ability to defend, and I love it. If they're in a cover two, we're probably hitting that route. If they're in a cover three, and I get pass protection, Johnson is going to end up wide open coming across the middle and have a freaking field day. All right, we need to run. Ooh, I got to play. Let's go right here. Uh, actually, no, let's go shotgun. Doubles flex, flanker drive. Now, we're looking for um, Juju underneath. Moreau, that deep crossing route, maybe. we got to be careful. Watch what the safeties are up to. Get in the end zone. It's close to a first down. All right, third and inches. I think we need to run this. As much as I want a touchdown for Grant Crawford, I don't care about stats enough to risk a loss because he does something stupid again. So let's try and get the first down, and we get a touchdown. There we go. We're back in control. And I think we have a strategy offensively moving forward that is going to help us get some balls downfield with one-on-one -on -one coverage or a zone assignment where they just don't have the personnel in position to defend us. So, all right, we're kicking with the wind here, right? Let's kick it high and over here to the right. It's probably only going to go down to about the five-yard line. Yeah, that's okay. Kicking it high, we'll have time to hopefully get down there and stop them. Dang it! Come on, guys! That's all right. All right, who was that? No. Uh, we're gonna blitz here. We've got um, Crawford's up to 189 yards passing, and if I continue to get lucky. There's a, a good play. Came with the blitz. I just came downhill going after uh, Chubb because it looked like they were going to be running a dive play. It was play action, and they just had nobody left to protect because at that point, we were basically blitzing seven. All right, second and 16. Let's get a sack here. Probably going to pass it. Watch the little underneath to Chubb. There we go, baby. How about back-to-back -back sacks? T.J. Watt makes it third and 27. Arnold. 
Uh, I guess Fitzpatrick is now going to be in the game on special teams. We're definitely going prevent here. I'm going to call man. Yeah, we need to stay with it because those trips to the right, you don't want to be in a zone here in case they run deep routes that are designed to just, you know, rely on pass protection but open up part of the field late, kind of like what we've done with Juju on those deep crossing routes, play action. But that's a big stop. Look at this. They're going to punt. Instead of letting the clock run out and kicking with the wind, they're going to punt into the wind. And that probably cost them about eight yards. All right. Let's try and run something that's going to get the ball out to the left side of the field so that I can run that play action. Roll out to the right and take a shot deep. Hit the rookie out here in the flat. Man, every time he throws it out there, he's making him spin around. And if that happens, you're not going to get a lot of yards on that play. It's just not going to happen. But now, second and nine. We're not really set up for play action here. And they're showing an eight-man front. <clears throat> I think I'm going to adjust my strategy here on blitz. We did. There's Deontay Johnson for a first down. All right, now, where's that scissors route? Right there. See, I don't want to have to roll out toward Garrett, so we're going to run this up the middle. They're spread out, kind of looking like they're going to let me do this. Well, not necessarily let me. Dang it! All right, let's uh, change strategy for a second and go gun. Tray offset, Vert's drag, and again, look how they're set up. If you can't run up the middle on this formation, you can't run, period. Look at that. That's too easy, guys. All right, now I have a strategy. We're going to call Texas. And... See, I don't want to have to roll out towards Garrett, so we're going to go ahead and run this. I think it might be there, but let's send Deontay on the go route. Uh-oh. No. I was going to have the fullback late, but I needed to try and step up into the pocket. They figured out something there to slow me down with those plays that I talked about, you know, being able to work for us. All right, we're going to bring Claypool underneath. I'm going to watch what's going on over the middle here. He's going to be there. He hasn't really been much of a factor except for that deep ball that he caught and fumbled. Thankfully, we got lucky with the call. All right, we're going to try scissors here. We're going to just go ahead and run it because I need something here. But let's slide the protection to the right because Garrett out there is making me nervous. Good job by Dan Moore. Oh! <laughs> Unbelievable! Thought it was going to be picked off. They finally had it covered. They don't pick it off. Instead, he just tips it up in the air, and we get the, the, the big play down to the one. Unbelievable. Take it in, Benny Snell. Have a day, sir! Is that three touchdowns? That was unreal. I mean, Miles Garrett got loose just enough to force me to throw that before I really wanted to. Didn't make the greatest pass, and they had it pretty well covered. That's not the look that I wanted there. And I was so worried about Miles Garrett that I was not watching what was going on downfield so much and honestly made a bad decision with that throw. <coughs> we get a touchdown anyway. Heck yeah. So that kind of makes up for the bad throw. Oh! Look at this. I don't know if he was down or not. I wasn't really watching. It was kind of late fumble, so I'll bet you that it's going to get reviewed. 
And I bet you it's in the down. Yeah, that's okay. We're inside eight minutes to go. And we're up by three touchdowns. Like, they can't really afford to keep trying to run the ball much, which is their strength. And if that's all they're going to do, they're not going to win this game. They've got to try and find ways to get it down the field. Our defense has been outstanding today. Just absolutely executed our strategy to perfection. We slowed down Nick Chubb. Oh, man, the rookie almost had a pick. He is going to be really good. The only thing that's a disappointment about him is that he doesn't have that star dev trait, but like he was like 80 overall, fresh out of college, and has really good physicals. He's got great speed. He made a bunch of picks last year. Like I think he's going to end up being a very good player. I'm surprised he hasn't had a breakout scenario, honestly. We're going to keep spreading out the D-line and trying to come and get some sacks. Right? We'll give them those, because if they do that all the way down the field, they're not going to score in time to get back into this game. Spread out, D-line. Quincy Shields just needs to run someone over and go get a sack. All right, here's our, uh, my plan on this next play. We are going to line up. We're going to call a zone, and then I'm going to adjust to a man coverage. I don't really like Colbert covering a wide out. Yep, they, they, that's a good decision there because that's a mismatch. We got a middle linebacker covering Odell Beckham. It's okay. I'm going to do the same thing here. Get over there. Call man, and then we adjust. We got it covered. Get him. There it is. Zach Monroe, baby. That was very good coverage downfield. Now we're going to call a nickel blitz. Let's press. They're all in tight anyway. Nice tackle. Highsmith. I guess he's in there as a uh, defensive end when we go to the nickel. But I don't really want that. Why is he on the field right there? That should be Zach Monroe. We're going to have to look at our depth chart and fix that. Because I don't know why he's on the field. He shouldn't be. Uh, watch. Uh-oh. Okay. Is that going to be roughing? It was a very late flag. Holding. That's ball game. We'll back him up. Fourth and short, they're going to go for it anyway. So now third and long. We go man, three deep. Bring everybody up here. It's a screen. Oh, yeah, baby. They go backwards. Now it's fourth and 22. They're down three touchdowns with four minutes to go. They're going to go for it. We're going to continue the same strategy here of man coverage. Just everybody stay on your man. You got help deep. All right, into double coverage. How about that? Let's bring it out. Give me some blocking here, guys. There we go. Get you some. Make a Fitzpatrick. All right, so now we go chew clock mode. We run the ball. I mean, you just do the thing that's, you know, you're not running up the score at this point. I, as much as I want to try and throw the ball and, um, you know, pad Grant Crawford's stats just a little bit, it's not the right thing to do. It's uncouth. Not going to do it. We're going to go with the rookie here up the middle. Try and get this clock down to two minutes after this play. Drag it out, drag it out, drag it out. I think he did. 
Yeah! Oh, that's awesome. So we'll get to the two-minute warning. Third and five, it's okay to throw it in that situation, isn't it? I'd say yeah. We're just trying to get the game over with. It's a Bill Belichick move. We just want the game to be over with at this point, and if we get the first down, that will accomplish that goal. They're showing the blitz. Circle or triangle here is probably, I'm gonna leave Friar or uh, Monroe in the block here. Wide open. Stay on your feet. Get the first down. Stays in bounds, and that will do it. They're not using timeouts, so now we simply kneel it a couple of times, and it's game over. 28-7 over the Browns, and really. Well, I'll tell you what, though. The interception that Baker Mayfield threw on the first drive of the game, that was huge. And then, the, the you know, the interception that Crawford threw at the end of the first half was also huge. But we did a good job responding and keeping them from ever getting back into it, really. I mean, they got it to 14-7. But they never really got their offense clicking. The run game was non-existent. We shut them down. Nick Chubb, a day to forget. Although, did he get the touchdown? I think he did. So fantasy owners are not in complete dismay. But, and actually he caught a few passes too. So like his total numbers aren't terrible, but he did not run the ball well. In fact, I'm gonna look up what his longest run of the day was. All right, so Crawford was okay. The interception hurts. If he would have got a touchdown or two in there, I feel really good about how he played. But just one bad throw. Actually, a couple bad throws. He got away with one. But Mayfield was awful. 15, or 19 for 27. Less than 200 yards. No touchdowns, and he picked off twice. Benny Snell had a really good day. Three touchdowns. How about three and, and 3.4 yards? Um, per carry for Nick Chubb versus Long, 11. So we did a good job keeping him in check. How about the rookie here? Four carries, 28 yards, and a touchdown. Chubb was their leading receiver. That tells you how much they were able to get it downfield. Good day for Deontay Johnson. Those deep crossing routes were there, and he kept coming up big. He made that one tiptoe catch on the sideline that was nice Juju was okay he had that big first down in the first half or actually on our first drive see I want to get Richardson a little bit better uh, catching the football out of the backfield than seven yards on three catches Claypool was all right our tight ends did nothing today that is not gonna cut it guys but our, uh, our wideouts did a pretty good job. All right, so Bush had a strong day, led the team in tackles, and did a good job not allowing Chubb to make those cutback runs. That was key for us. Now, sacks, we got three. Watt, Monroe, and then Meeks is a rookie, isn't he? Yeah. And then Miles Garrett. And then here, this is the guy that I wanted to draft, but they got him first. Our interceptions, Fitzpatrick and Colbert. And John Johnson had the one. That was a gift. We threw it right to him. <clears throat> so that's a heck of a ball game. We take it 28-7. Let's get back to the main screen. i got to make sure I'm not running over on time. We were not, which is good. We might have been cutting it close to an hour there, though. Played the entire game, I believe, in one cut. So, we didn't get our 275 through the air. We didn't get our two touchdown passes. We didn't get the 350 that we needed for the scenario. But we got the win. Kendrick Green gets another upgrade. Let's go power. This pass protection is good enough that we'll just try and get him 
better as far as his overall. We're at 36 staff points. I think I need more for whatever upgrade we're looking for next. We did not do the key to victory. We didn't get there. I think I'm going to mix up my strategy this year, and instead of every two wins we sim, let's go every one win. If we win, we sim until we lose. Um, because we get a thousand XP and some staff points. The reason is our team is pretty good now anyway. This will help us continue to kind of burn through um, the season a little bit. We're already in season five. Um, and I'm not really sure how much longer we're going to drag this one out. But I think we're at the point where maybe we go for it here and just try and, like I said, burn through a bunch of seasons. So that one's 50. How about 30? I don't care about that one at all. Then we have all of those. We have all of those. We have all of those except what is this one? Oh, unlock one player let's go ahead and get this one there are no players do I have to use this each season so I can't do this until there's somebody that's up for negotiation and I wonder if I have to do that every year and you know pay the 32 points for it or whatever so do I have enough for it was this one we'll go ahead and just do this Reset one talent tree for offensive coordinator. See, if I do this, though, I'll bet you, like, this one will reset, and I'll have to buy all of these again. So I'm not even going to do that. So basically, it's this one right here for 50 points. That's the only thing that I'm interested in buying at this stage. I don't want any of the other ones. Until we need that renegotiation one, there's nothing that I need to do. Because I'm not going to do that reset the talent tree. It's a waste of points. I don't need to reset it. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, so, who was it that broke their thumb or broke or whatever? Yeah. So, he's only going to be out for a couple of weeks. Not a big deal. Because uh, Babino as his backup, is respectable. We've got the Bears at home. Um, let's go ahead and advance week. We're going to try and go ahead and get at least one simulation in. Actually, you know what? Let's wrap the episode. We'll start next episode with a simulation. And then if we win, we'll just keep going and maybe just do a, a, an episode where we do a bunch of simming. Um, because we're going to have some other stuff here, obviously, to do between weeks, between regional scouting focus um, so player upgrades, and then who all got signed here? Bunch of guys that are not, like, terrible news. If they're getting signed off of my practice squad, it's not the end of the world. So, that is going to do it for this episode. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time. Friends and neighbors, or shall I say this afternoon? <laughs>